Hey friends, this is David from Default Sound, and today I'm going to show you how to install a low pass or high cut control to your layout in Main Stage. Let's take a look. Alright, so for today's tutorial I'm using Synth Volume 2, which is a collection of 75 synth patches for Main Stage, and we're going to add a high cut knob to it. Uh, I deleted the one that the concert comes with just so I could show you how to do it. So we're going to go to the Layout tab first and we're going to add a control. You could use a round knob, vertical fader, horizontal fader, whatever you wanted. I usually use knobs for these types of effects. I'm just going to drag that right there. And that's all you need to do in the Layout tab. Uh, I'm going to assign it real quick to my Nano Control. So you just press Assign with it selected and then move the control on your hardware controller to make sure it's tracking. So that's working. All right, you're going to want to make this mapping at the concert level so that it affects all your patches. So we're here at the concert level, right here. Now you need to go over to your output channel strip, or if you wanted to put it on a bus and only feed certain instruments through it, you could do that too. We're going to use output one and two. You're going to add a channel EQ right here. It opens up like this. And I'm going to change these settings a little bit. This is my default. There we go. All right, so now we've got a channel EQ here with no EQ being applied. You want to, at the concert level still, select the on-screen control, press map parameter, and then open up channel EQ and click here where it says 20,000 hertz. As soon as you've made your mapping, uh, depress the map parameter button so you don't accidentally change your mapping. So right there now we've got this going on and uh, one quick thing that I like to do right now the further counter, uh, further clockwise you go the less cut there is and I think that's kind of weird it's kind of backwards to me so here you can click invert parameter range if you want or the way I prefer to do it is to go here and select the left to right downward slope. All this is doing is reversing it so now when I'm all the way to the left there's no cut and when I go clockwise it adds more cut. So let's hear how this sounds. Keep this open so you can see. Alright, so here's with no cut. And then we roll the knob clockwise. And this is cutting out all sound now. There's no sound coming through. So that is a little aggressive. But what you need to do is go back to the concert level, select that control again, and you're going to want to adjust this minimum range. I usually recommend around 1,000 hertz. That's where I usually start, and then I'll change it to taste there. So let's hear how that sounds, see if that's a little better. That's with no cut, and I'll roll the cut in now. And let's open this up so you can see where it's at. Sounds pretty good to my ear. If you want to adjust the slope here, you can click on 24 dB or whatever your default is and change that so it's more or less aggressive. I like 24, seems to be pretty musical to me, but you can play around with that as well. Alright, that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments or you can always email us, info at defaultsound.com. If you're looking for main stage patches and other resources, hope you'll check out our website. And if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.